he's looking at me, Scott! Oh, shit! Let me past! Yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh, Greetings, human beings of the internet. My name is Joe, and welcome to another first impressions type video. Today, I'm going to be covering Gears of War 4. So, I am a fan of the Gears of War franchise. I have played one, two, three, and I have played Judgment, which is kind of like the spin off game which was made by a different company. Haven't beaten Judgment, but I still kind of enjoyed it. But I was very excited to play the fourth one in the series. So there are three main aspects to Gears of War. There's the campaign, there is the multiplayer, and there is Horde mode. And I have played one hour of each of these three. So let's start with the campaign. Only playing an hour of the campaign isn't the best way to kind of get a gauge of what is going on inside the campaign. Oi, come on up! It plays just like the other Gears of War games. You gain cover a lot, you shoot things, there's blood and gore, and it feels good to play. Oh, okay, here. Jesus Christ, game. Whoa, 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 whoa! Shit, I almost got killed by pipes. It's kind of embarrassing. There was a lot of enemy variety in the first hour of the Gears of War campaign. I'm pretty sure you start off uh, fighting against humans in some sort of flashback. And then the game goes to E-Day, which is Emergence Day, which is when the Locusts first burst out of the Earth and attacked the planet. So obviously you're fighting the Locusts on E-Day. I actually really liked that you got to finally see E-Day. Whoa! <laughs> Grim. So I like playing the flashback scenes. I found them fun. And then you go to present day and you are playing as Marcus Phoenix's son. I can't remember what his name was because I didn't play for very long. But in typical Gears of War fashion, you have three other buddies with you. So there is a group of four characters in the section of the game I played. I'm pretty sure Marcus Phoenix does join the group later on. Maybe he replaces a character. Maybe someone dies. I don't know. But what surprised me is the section I played. 45 minutes of it was only against robot enemies, which is very different from the series. And I wasn't sure if I was going to like it because there's no blood. <laughs> and I'm not a psycho, but the blood and the splatting and the exploding gore is kind of part of Gears of War. Oh, God, give me up, give me up, give me up, give me up. Or don't. Okay, thanks, team. So just to be shooting at machines and just to see sparks and stuff, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like it, but they did actually do a pretty good job of making the robots varied. There's like one that charges at you with a cool shotgun and he explodes when he dies. Oh, this guy's mad at me. This guy's mad. He has a big old shotgun. Oh god, he's charging. Don't, no, don't. No, get away from me. Thank you. There were these little ball things that rolled towards you and if they explode, they stunned you and you could like kick them away. Right to the pile. I should do some damage. Boom, bitches. Uh, uh. <laughs> satisfying. They did actually do a really good job of making the robots varied and fun to play against because they played very differently from the locusts. I'll be talking about horde mode in a minute, but when you play horde mode, you sometimes get the robots and the locusts fighting you. And when they are side by side, you really see how they play differently. The robots use cover a lot because they're a bit smarter and the locusts kind of charge at you. So it's more varied to have the robots in there. Uh, I don't mind it. I like variation. Also, the robots have their own guns. So when you kill the robots, you get to pick up the robot guns and they're all kind of interesting. There's a new shotgun, a new sniper, like a big old rocket launcher thing that falls off a flying uh, guardian. It's called. It's a flying robot. So I do like the robots. I didn't think I would like them, but I do like them. The thing that's changed the most about Gears of War is the cover. Usually you just get in cover and you're safe, but this time if there's an enemy on the other side of your cover So you're on cover here wall here if there's an enemy here the enemy can vault over kind of kick you in the face and stun you oh Shit, whoa, that's new You vaulted over the cover and kick my face in Shit, don't do that, please. Or, if you're quicker, you can reach over cover and pull the enemy out and then execute it, which is pretty cool. Grab him, grab him, grab him. Yes, I actually did it. I did it. Die! It's not the biggest change in the world, but it does make you think about cover differently. And cover is, like, one of the biggest points of the gunplay and the gameplay in Gears of War. So, a little tweak makes a big difference, I think. And the only other thing I can really talk about when it comes to the campaign, having only played an hour of it, is the story and the characters. The characters are interesting. I don't think an hour of being with the characters is enough to really judge them, because you have to go on a journey with these characters and learn their faults and their personalities. Um, their tone is much more comical. They try and be funny. You're a better shot than I am. Huh. Really? No. I'm just trying to make you feel better. 
And in the previous Gears of War games, they weren't trying to be funny. Or at least it felt like they weren't trying as hard in the other Gears of War games to be funny. I feel like there were some comical moments in the past Gears of War games, but they worked better. These kind of felt a little bit forced. I didn't really like the comedy. Best thing my mother did was raise me away from all this. Yeah, I mean, well, to be fair, we do need to repopulate. Oh, yeah? Where do I sign up? Ew. <laughs> Fucking hell. I didn't really know what was happening in the story. I was like robbing a robot facility and stealing something And it seems like the cog has turned into the government and the government doesn't like my character who is called an outsider I don't really know. I'm not gonna try and judge the story based on an hour We'll have to see where it goes But if you played a Gears of War game, you kind of know what it's gonna be like. It looks nice. It plays nice It's fun to shoot things uh, I just worry a little bit about the characters and story, but only an hour. I can't judge yet. We will see. So far, I like it. I'm excited to see where it goes next and to play more of it. Next is the multiplayer. Now, I've never got into Gears of War multiplayer. I tried in two to get good at it, but I couldn't because people were really good at it. There's a real skill barrier in Gears of War. Like Call of Duty, you can jump in, you can shoot people. Even in Halo, I feel like you can kind of jump in and have some fun. But Gears of War, if you're against people who are good... You get shit on, big time. But I was very happy to see in Gears of War 4, there were some modes which were a little bit silly for people like me who are casuals and don't want to take it seriously. Uh, and there was actually a really good variety of game modes. Don't worry fam, we will win it. Please do. We will win everything. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> we didn't will think win that was... immediately. Get double <laughs> shot My favourite was called Gun Game which I think is based on the Call of Duty game mode, where the more people you kill, you change weapon, and it just keeps it fresh and interesting throughout the game. I really like that one. Ah! Fuck. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mind. Yeah! Yes. <laughs> okay, what do we get? Top bow. Oh, and then it's a drop shot. Oh, wow. Okay. There was another interesting one where one of your teammates is the leader. And if the leader dies, you can't respawn anymore. So you have to protect your leader while at the same time trying to kill the enemy leader, which I thought was cool. It worked well. It was kind of tense. It's hard to talk in detail about a multiplayer shooter because basically you just shoot people. And you either like it or you don't like it. But I'm going to put in a little highlight reel for my first hour in Gears of War 4 multiplayer. I'm okay, boom, that, bitch. That. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> oh, you fucking saved my life. Thank you so much. <laughs> Another boom shot. Can I have the boom shot, mate? I like booming and shotting. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> and all this shit is blue. Oh! oh. <laughs> shit! Well, that was please. the best thing I've done. This is so weird. Come on up, boys. It's good up here. <laughs> Idiot. Whoa! Get shit on, kid! Uh. Yes! Mate, you're top of the team. Yeah, mate. Shit. I'm fucking wicked sick, blood! <laughs> Come here, mate. <laughs> you were good at games. <laughs> nice! You're stupid! Oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stole that completely. <laughs> now on to Horde. I am a big Horde fan. I haven't really played it since Gears of War 2, but I loved it in 2. It's simple. There's waves of enemies. It gets harder the further you get into it. Don't die. Kill the enemies. That's pretty much it. There's I would like there. your weapon. No. Could you drop it? Thank you, sir. Where's that? Give me that mulcher. Oh, fuck. Shit, 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 shit. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> awesome. But it always worked because Gears of War gunplay and shooting was so fun that a simple mode like Horde was just always great. I should probably quickly say I was playing Horde and multiplayer with my friend Scott. I will put his YouTube channel down in the description. What the fuck is that? What's going on? There's a bloody dog thing with spiky tails. A pouncer. It won't die. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Kill it. Is he dead? There we go. Whoa. Those things are freaky, man. Hey, it's a real base. The... You're not invited. Oh, my God. I believe this version of Horde is called Horde 3.0. And it's changed quite a lot. Uh, the way it's changed is you have this box, which is called the Fabricator. And you can move this box around. I'm bringing the fucking fabricator. We're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> we're, fucking, we're moving. And this box basically acts as a vending machine for reinforcements. And by reinforcements, I mean barriers, turrets, and stuff like that. Whoa. Whoa, it's awesome. But to purchase these barriers and turrets, you need power. 
And the way you get power is off enemy corpses. Uh-oh. Oh, Ooh, that did it. Nice. I got a look at this power! Power! So when an enemy dies, I think it's like a little diamond appears above their corpse, and you have to run, grab that little diamond, and take it back to the fabricator to cash in that money to then buy barriers and turrets, etc. It's a simple idea. But it's clever because it forces you to move from your safe place. Usually when you're playing Horde, you find like a corner of the map where there's only like two places where enemies can come at you from. Uh, and it's very easy in the past games to just kind of sit there forever, hiding in cover, infinitely shooting, but not anymore. Because if you want barriers and turrets, which help so much, you have to get out there and you have to pick up that stuff. And that's pretty much it. That is the basic principle of Horde. As I was saying earlier in the video, because there is a more increased variety of enemies like the locusts and the robots, it does make it more fun because it mixes up more and you get different weapons on different rounds. But on wave 10, it's a boss round and the bosses are awesome. Oh my god, what the fuck is that over there? Oh my what? god, do you see that thing? I see that. Oh shit. That's, That's not spooky. Okay. Oh my goodness! He's throwing worms at his belly! He, he just vomited on me from long range. Fuck! Ow, what the fuck? Shit! Our what turret! The hell? Ow, 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 ow! Shit! Oh, Shit, he's coming up! He's coming! Oh I'm my dead. god! I'm dead! Yeah, me too. What? We died at the same that? time. That thing is crazy. Wait for it. It's a Rambe! It's like a gorilla <laughs> thing! Look at it! It's fucking horrible, Whoa! man! <laughs> oh my god, you're fucking dead! Shit, yeah, 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 yeah! Hello, hello, uh, get you back, Remy. goodbye. I, I, it didn't let me back, I think it's oh, one revived her Fuck! Fuck, oh. get out of my way! Move! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go! Oh. oh, shit, are you back, are you back? Nope. Oh, oh, Scott, Scott! <laughs> He's looking at me, Scott! Oh, shit, <laughs> let me pass! Yeah, shit! <laughs> oh, my <laughs> oh, oh my god, that thing is fucking mental, man! That thing is awesome! Shit! I hate it, but I respect it. I think me and Scott got 15 waves in before we died, and it was hard. It was pretty damn difficult. We should definitely both be engineers. They seem like the best classes. Yeah. Well, oh my god, I blew up! Oh my god, we both died! <laughs> Come what on! The hell? Hey! You little shit, oh, get off oh, that. that was a bad idea. I thought I could have killed it. Oh my god, I got chased off of the spine! No! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, oh what the fuck? <laughs> Feeling negative about this situation. Yeah. Please stop. <laughs> fuck it out. What? Shit! What is this <laughs> fuck! Me and Scott only played Horde for an hour, but it was so much fun, and I can't wait to get back into more Horde. I think it's probably so far my favorite aspect of Gears of War. I think Horde mode will always be the best testament to how well Gears of War plays. Because if you can include a mode in your game where you just sit in a corner and shoot at people who come towards you and you're having the best time, it's probably a very fun game to play. So that was my early impressions of Gears of War 4. Because I kind of spread my three hours across three different game modes, it was very, very early impressions. One hour in campaign, one hour in multiplayer, and one hour in Horde mode. It's really early days for me, but I definitely know that I am going to be playing more multiplayer, more Horde, and I'm intrigued by the campaign, a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried about the story and the characters in Gears of War 4 campaign, but we will see. We will see. But so far, positive feelings towards Gears of War 4. I want to thank you guys, the ones who have been checking out these first impressions videos. A lot of you have been leaving quite nice words of encouragement towards this series, and it's nice because they're quite hard to make. It's a lot of footage, a lot of editing, and it takes quite a lot of time. So I appreciate you guys checking them out and enjoying them. But if you like this video, guys, make sure you like it. Because if you don't like it when you like it, then I don't know if you like it. And apart from that, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time! <laughs> Boom, bitch! Oh, it was cool, but it didn't work. Okay, it looks like I'm breaking this, I think. Whoa. Right in my little face hole. Getting the last little guy. There's a windmill! How do I make you go? I needed you to move earlier, but you didn't! I don't get it. Whoa!